Earth in motion, Yellowstone's wildlife flees as quakes rattle the park, while Iceland erupts once again. In a dramatic turn of natural events, the Earth's power seems to be stirring from both above and below. The heart of the United States National Park is trembling under the weight of over a hundred earthquakes as wildlife make their way out of the park. At the same time, halfway across the globe, Iceland has once again exploded in a fiery display of molten rock and gas. be signs that our planet is awakening? Is Yellowstone on the verge of a volcanic rebirth? Yellowstone rumblings in the wild. Over the past several weeks, more than 100 earthquakes have been detected beneath Yellowstone's surface. While most of them were minor, the frequency and location of the tremors have raised concern among watchers of the world's most famous soup to volcano. The strongest tremor registered at magnitude 2.7, a level considered typical for Yellowstone's volcanic system. But it wasn't just the seismic data that drew attention. Visitors and locals alike have reported bison, elk and wolves traveling in unusual patterns. Many appearing to head toward the edges of the park, far from the caldera and its infamous hydrothermal zones. Viral videos on social media quickly framed the event as evidence of animals fleeing the park, as if sensing a disaster. But according to scientists at the US Geological Survey, USGS and Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, the movements are normal for this time of year. Spring and early summer bring rising temperatures, melting snow and shifting food sources, which naturally encourage wildlife migration. Still, the overlapping visuals of fleeing animals and trembling earth have reignited public anxiety. Could Yellowstone be preparing to rise again? Steamboat Geyser and Black Diamond Pool reactivate. Adding to the tension is the recent activity at Steamboat Geyser, the world's tallest active geyser. In 2025 alone, it has erupted several times, with powerful jets of boiling water shooting hundreds of feet into the air. Scientists confirm this is not a sign of magma movement, but rather intense hydrothermal activity driven by underground water systems reacting to pressure and heat. On June 12, another thermal area black diamond pool in Biscuit Basin experienced a minor eruption captured on park webcams These eruptions, while dramatic, are part of Yellowstone's natural character. They do, however, remind us that the park sits atop one of the most complex and volatile hydrothermal systems on Earth. Geologists emphasize that the Yellowstone supervolcano alert level remains at green indicating normal activity. There's no evidence of uplift, 
no magma intrusion, and no gas emissions that would signal a pending eruption. But the landscape remains alive and dynamic an ancient beast slumbering just beneath the surface. The rise of Yellowstone or just a seasonal shift. The big question is Yellowstone rising. Satellite and GPS data show minor subsidence has slowed. But scientists clarify this is not due to magma. It's simply a result of seasonal snowmelt entering underground water systems, causing pressure changes. This process happens every year and is closely monitored by USGS's sophisticated array of instruments. Still, the dramatic timing of geyser eruptions, minor quakes, and animal movement creates a powerful narrative that feeds public. Fear and fuels viral content. But facts remain facts. No signs of eruption are present. That said, Yellowstone remains a place where the Earth whispers its oldest secrets and sometimes. Those whispers feel a little too loud. Iceland ignites the Rake Janes Peninsula, burns again. Our Yellowstone simmers quietly, Iceland has exploded again. On July 16th, 2025, Following a powerful swarm of over 300 earthquakes, a 1.5 mile, 2.4 kilometers fissure ripped open the ground near Sundinka on the Rock James Peninsula. In a matter of minutes, rivers of lava burst forth, spewing molten rock and ash into the skies. A second, shorter fissure opened later that day, intensifying the eruption. Officials quickly evacuated residents of Grindavik, a town already scarred by previous eruptions, and shut down popular tourist destinations like the Blue Lagoon Geothermal Spa. This marks the ninth eruption at Sundenka since late Arlin Arsen, and the twelfth overall on Ragjanes since 2021, a clear sign that Iceland has entered a new era of volcanic activity. Known by scientists as the new Ragjanes fires, this cycle may last decades or even centuries.